my dear brothers and sisters of Nagaland. I'm reaching out to all fellow citizens as we enter the most crucial stage of the global pandemic. COVID-19 has reached Nagaland as positive cases have started emerging. This disease has touched every part of the globe and it was inevitable that it would reach us too. I take this opportunity to welcome back all our children, brothers and sisters who were distressed and stranded in different parts of the country. Many of these citizens have undergone challenging times and have had difficult experiences in the mainland. Many have lost their jobs, while students are uncertain about their academic year. It pains us to see people suffering during these challenging times. I urge every person to welcome back our people with open arms and extend our love and concern so that their sufferings and trauma is eased to some extent. Many more will be returning in the next few days and weeks and we all need to collectively ensure that we make them feel welcome in all aspects. We have been preparing to deal with the pandemic over the last few weeks and in spite of our limitations, we are better prepared than yesterday with large numbers of returnees coming back home and detection of positive cases. There was a management gap and some miscommunications among the various functionaries of which the government regrets. We have decided to set up a BSL testing lab at Twengsan district and true net testing facilities in all the districts, which will greatly enhance our testing capacity. The government is seized of the situation and I appeal to you to bear with us. Let us not panic, rather let us strengthen our resolve to fight together and win together. I want to appeal to each and every one of you to make every possible effort in ensuring that we do not stigmatize the disease and any person who is infected by it. Rather, we need to extend our support and concern to each COVID-19 patient so that we can lessen their suffering and lighten their burden. We must respect the privacy of each patient and all their families. This is the time for the strong social bonds of Naga society to emerge as rays of hope and support. I also request all returnees to strictly adhere to government advisories, follow guidelines and make every possible effort to contain the virus at each individual level. It is now absolutely crucial that we follow best practices, break the myths about the disease, and maintain the basic guidelines of hygiene and social distancing. We are also deeply concerned that thousands of our people are returning home, having lost their jobs. And we are also challenged to provide gainful employment in some manner. The entire country is undergoing economic challenges. And we too are impacted by the slowdown of the economy, followed by lockdown restrictions. Therefore, we have already instituted a strategic committee on economic affairs, followed by 
activation of working groups along with experts and non-governmental players to formulate strategies and roadmaps to move towards a sustainable and a self-reliant economy. Very soon, we will come up with strategies, steps and targeted dates of implementation of these policies. I once again thank all sections who are working over time to combat this pandemic. Our special appreciation goes out to the frontline workers. I must commend the civil societies, NGOs, churches, organizations and individuals that have come forward to lend a helping hand to our people and support the government missionaries. In our common endeavor, I humbly seek the continued support and participation of all sections. And as we enter the crucial juncture, I'm confident that with the help of God Almighty and the concerted efforts of all stakeholders, we will overcome the challenges that lie ahead. Thank you. God bless. Cook Nellim.